Hey guys, uh, here we have my 2013 Freightliner Cascadia, the 13 liter Detroit engine. Gonna do an uh, in depth and uh, detailed look for you. Now, this truck itself has a Bose Ride custom seat in it. It's a truck. Uh, I was one of the very lucky people to get it. It's uh, all automated. It's one of the most comfortable seats on the market. Alright, so here we have it and I will fire it up for you. There we go. put the cruise on to let it idle up. With the Bose ride seat, it automatically adjusts itself. Therefore, it, the seat will be down when the vehicle is not on. We have our speedometer, tachometer, our odometer reading 202,326 kilometers. Not too bad, we've had the truck for exactly a year. Water temp, oil pressure, oil, turbo, battery, gas and DEF gauge, well, fuel and DEF gauge for the air ride, transmission. This is the some cruise control settings, on off switch, cancel, accelerate or decelerate. We've got some engine brakes, the put it on a higher setting or a lower setting, got the marker light, light switch, got the light switch itself for just markers or night lights comes with a Sirius equipped radio. It's got a direct plug into an XM. There's our parking brake and our trailer brake. This truck is equipped with Smart Shift. Smart Shift is uh, one of the many things that trucks come upon. All most company trucks that aren't uh, stick shift have this few more things with the how bright your lights are four ways and your footwell lights traction control with engine overdrive and a regen engine brake with the mirror lights the dome lights and the utility lamp we got our inner axle diff with suspension air we also have this Rand McNally GPS this is one of the best GPS's, in my opinion, money can buy. Turn it on for you here. Cobra 25 LTD Classic. Got the air, got the air conditioning and what settings. I'll show you a little bit of the back while this thing fires up. This is the seat that comes with the Freightliner Cascadia right here. It has a domestic fridge. Pretty nice fridge to it. With a cubby hole for, well, whatever. It's for a TV, but my TV stand broke. So right now we don't have a TV. It's got, you know... Some storage, some storage, more storage, bunk beds with storage under the bed if you'd like. 
Sorry about the unmade bed. I'm taking the bedding out to get it washed. Got the Freightliner. Now, if you want to get into detail here, this Freightliner is... This was manufactured in Daimler Trucks in North America, in Cleveland, North Carolina. This truck itself has a Detroit Diesel 13 liter, 450 horsepower motor, with the Eaton Fuller Ultra Shift. And a few other specifications that really, well, aren't really important for today. One of the best riding trucks in North America, as far as I'm concerned. So there we go, just accept this. Close. So let's choose a destination. And go to the history. So we will, for example, we're just going to pick. 1600 Britannia. And again, a new route. It's going to calculate towards Britannia and Mississauga, Ontario. And there you have it. This is a more detailed look at the map, and it's going to tell you where you've got to go. And that'll just on average show you where, where you have to go it's tell you you have to go down highway 69 from where we are all the way down to there now and uh, anything any further videos will be in the link below towards a tutorial towards outside of the truck because this video is decently long it's a I'll be doing a video on the outside of the vehicle as well once I have the chance. So for now, this will be all I have. So like, favorite, and subscribe. And uh, make sure to stay tuned for more.